Hello everyone. Being an obstetrician and gynecologist, it is of most important that you know the physiology of developing the fetus and small for gestational age and various types of IUGR because these are so interchangeable that many of the times and as an obstetrician you tend to forget all these things so i am here to make you understand or you have a basic basic uh, 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 fundamental knowledge about what is IUGR and how we diagnose it and how we proceed in that case now first of all you need to understand a development of fetus development of fetus if you see it can be divided into three parts less than 16 week 16 to 32 weeks and more than 32 weeks in 16 to uh, less than 16 weeks here most of the growth of the fetus is by cellular hyperplasia only so cellular hyperplasia that means the number of the cells are increase okay they are increasing day by day they are i think doubling the day by day the number of the cells then if you see this thing after 32 weeks almost all of the cells of the fetus has been already generated and now this these cells are getting hypertrophy and this uh, this phase 16 to 32 weeks in which both hyperplasia and hypertrophy is going on so if you if you see the pattern here increase in fetal weight is more prominent in third trimester only okay fetal weight significantly increases in third trimester and not in the first trimester so this is how where you need to understand the things now all organs of the fetus like liver head every everything is uh, getting increased in the size but you should know one thing that the head of the fetus develops earlier than the liver and all the things so if you see if you see head size head size is more than liver size or if you say abdominal circumference head circumference is more than abdominal circumference till 34 weeks at the 34 weeks almost they become equal head circumference and abdominal circumference but after 34 weeks the abdominal circumference is more than the head circumference so here this pattern you should also know now now i am going to tell you what is small for gestational age small for gestational age means the weight of the baby is less than 10 percentile of the weight defined range okay for example at every gestational age for example if you say 34 weeks five days there is a range available for every fetus for every region if you say india if you say us every region there is a defined range of fetal weight at particular gestational age and at that particular certain gestational age if the fetus's weight is less than 10 percentile then you can say that it is a sga that means small for gestational age okay now now the fetal weight is dependent on two factors external and internal first of all if you see external that means placenta is the thing which provides everything to the fetus if any problem happens if the placental insufficiency is there i am talking about placental insufficiency then there will be decreased in the hypertrophy there will be decreased in the hypertrophy because most of the time placental insufficiency develops in the third trimester after 24 25 weeks so at that time the most thing is going on is what hypertrophy so with the placental insufficiency there will be decreased in the rate of hypertrophy so decrease in the weight and that's why again i already told you head is developed before the abdomen abdominal organs so here what happens is 
liver size decreases more than head size because of hypertrophy is there okay now hypertrophy is uh, becoming again decreasing so head circumference and abdominal circumference ratio is more than one is more than one that means head circumference is more than abdominal circumference even after 34 weeks even after 34 weeks and that makes the asymmetrical iogr in this asymmetrical iogr total number of the cells are normal but hypertrophy is less that's why this is uh, head is uh, abdomen cannot cross out the head okay what what happens is 34 weeks abdominal circumference crosses out the head circumference is at 34 weeks but here because of the hypertrophy is not that much the abdominal circumference cannot cross the head circumference so even after 34 weeks head circumference is more than abdominal circumference so this kind of iugr is called as asymmetrical iugr now now the internal factors of the fetus for example if the fetus got infections fetal has genetic problems in that case hyperplasia and hypertrophy are both are affected so fetal growth affected way earlier than in the external fetal external factors okay in here the fetal growth is affected from the very start not in the third trimester so here hyperplasia is also affected hypertrophy is also affected and the weight gain is decreased because of both decrease in the cell number and decrease in the hypertrophy so here what happens is both liver size and head size both are decreased because already i told you head circumference is increasing earlier than abdominal circumference but the growth affection the growth restriction is the way earlier that's why even head circumference is also affected in this particular kind of iugr so here what happens iu head circumference and abdominal circumference is less than one that means abdominal circumference is more than head circumference but overall both circumferences are lesser and the baby weight is lesser so this is called symmetrical iugr because both of the circumferences decreases simultaneously so here this is a asymmet this is symmetrical iugr now there are three causes of decreased fetal weight according to gestational age the first one is constitutional that means there is no problem the fetus by by self the fetus is by self small you can see many if you can see variation in the world that some person is a very small but everything is normal some person is bigger then also everything is normal so this is just like that the fetus is constituently lesser or small weight is a small but technically the fetus is very healthy and there is no problem the fetus is not at a risk but in this symmetrical and asymmetrical iugr which you can also call it true iugr these fetuses are at risk so this is is true iugr true iugr includes what symmetrical and asymmetrical iugr and constitutional iugr sometimes called false iugr now now the diagnosis of these particular things are based totally on the ultrasound ultrasound is a very, very very important instrument to diagnose the iugr in the type of iugr ultrasound can use different criteria like head circumference abdominal circumference femur length all these criteria it can make a fetal weight uh, prediction so weight measurement can be done by ultrasound if it is less than 10 percent then you can say that yes this child or this baby is small for gestational age now the things comes whether it is a true iugr or false iugr so for that what you will do what you will see the different different points of uh, uh, things here for example in true iugr the 80 percent cases of true iugr 
are of asymmetrical iosia it's because of the placental insufficiency so you need to see the signs of placental insufficiency first of all you need to see the head circumference and abdominal circumference that is okay what what happens in constitutional iogr <coughs> after 34 weeks i am talking about after 34 weeks in constitutional iogr uh, the head circumference is less than abdominal circumference after 34 weeks i am telling about in symmetrical iogr head circumference is more than at, uh, abdominal circumference and asymmetrical iogr again sorry here sorry i'm sorry in symmetrical iogr head circumference is less than abdominal circumference even after 34 weeks and in asymmetrical iogr head circumference is 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 more than abdominal circumference even after 34 weeks okay so what happens here you can get that idea on the ultrasound measurement and then you will find the signs of placental insufficiency and those signs are uh, gained by the doppler placental aging can also be seen on the ultrasound and color doppler can also see the umbilical artery represents the placental function so whenever you want to see for growth restriction you will do doppler of umbilical artery okay now if you perform a doppler on umbilical artery you will see a diastolic notch here this here normal is this picture but you find a notch here then it is a sign of what a resistance in placenta and that is a sign of iogr now you need to also measure end diastolic flow with the increasing resistance in the placenta the end diastolic flow tends to decrease first of all it decreases then it becomes absent and then after it reverses so these are the increasing degrees of placental uh, uh, placental vascular bread resistance if you see here in this picture here is the umbilical artery doppler now this is the waveform here this is here is the end diastolic flow see this is systole this is diastole this is systole this is diastole so here end diastolic flow is here so end diastolic flow is here okay here also the flow is somehow good so it's normal now in this case if you see here there is no end diastolic flow absent and here you can see there is a reversal so again i am telling you if the arterial flow end diastolic flow is reversed then it is a ominous sign of very 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 high fetal uh, very very high um, uh, placental resistance and you need to directly terminate the pregnancy because this uh, this is a very ominous sign of fetal demise a may precede fetal demise i am telling you so what i am trying to tell you that iugr that means it may be true iugr or false iugr small for gestational age is the thing the reason of the small for gestational age are three a constitutional then symmetrical and asymmetrical iogr again i am telling you friends the prognosis is very very bad in symmetrical iogr because in this kind of iogr we have lesser lesser cells as well as hypertrophy and in kind of asymmetrical iogr where the hypertrophy is only affected then you th those particular babies have a great prognosis after birth and they are they have at all not at risk and they are their the prognosis is very very excellent so this is how you understand iogr thank you friends